Good morning and welcome to our look at the book of First Thessalonians. Today we'll be covering verses 1 through 5. Paul writes, Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, constantly mentioning you in our prayers, remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers loved by God, that he has chosen you, because our gospel came to you not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit, and with full conviction. You know what kind of men we prove to be among you for your sake. Now he's beginning this with his usual uh, greeting. Uh, first of all, identifying himself and the men who are with him, and also saying to uh, the Thessalonians, through God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, grace and peace to you. Hope that he's praying that uh, through this preaching, through this letter, he's going to be able to bring them some grace and peace, uh, acknowledging that these things come ultimately from the Father and from the Lord. And he's thankful for them. He That's the first thing he wants to mention to them. He recognizes uh, what they've done, their labors of love, their works of faith, the steadfastness that they've shown uh, in hope. Uh, in spite of the, the uh, persecutions that Paul himself faced while in Thessalonica, and despite the persecutions that they are going to suffer as well. Uh, and he reminds them that they have been chosen by God. And uh, the proof of this is that they've not only heard the word, they've not only heard the gospel, it's also something that they act upon that is... Uh, faith is being shown. Not that works are the things that produce faith or that works are the things that save, but that the faith has been already in them and out of that faith came their works. And because of that, Paul knows they are chosen. Uh, uh, the gospel came to them not only in word, but also in power in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction as he says. And he reminds them that Paul and Silvanus and Timothy proved themselves to be of the same uh, conviction uh, while they were in uh, Thessalonica. As you'll say later on, they didn't come to make money or to gather power, but to bring this saving gospel to the Thessalonians. And that this gospel has had an effect, it's had a power in their own lives, as can be seen by their works of love, their labors of love. Uh, this conviction is shown among them. Let us pray. Hear our cries and be attentive to the voice of our pleas, O Lord, for the sake of Jesus Christ, the Son of David. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send laborers into your harvest, Lord, and preachers to gather your elect from the farthest parts of the earth. Sustain all pastors and missionaries faithful in their callings. Bless our schools and teachers, our congregations and their servants. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.